Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Insane Ian Does Questionable Things with Food. Now, this episode was actually recorded about a month and a half ago at MarsCon in Minneapolis, St. Paul, but unfortunately, part of the recording wound up not recording. Uh, it was an episode I recorded with my friend Breakman Z from Dementia Radio, and uh, unfortunately, the intro to the episode got lost. I thought it was the recording. Turns out it wasn't recording, the camera battery then died, we plugged it in, and managed to record the rest of the episode, but this whole intro piece, where I would normally come in and say what we're doing and who I was with, is lost. So that's why I'm re-recording it now. Uh, I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done one of these, and the next episode will explain all of that to you, uh, but uh, right now, uh, we are now transporting back in time to go to MarsCon, in Minneapolis, St. Paul, with my good friend Breakman Z, who provided me six different Japanese Kit Kat flavors, and at the end we're gonna try some Christmas soda provided by our good friend RJ, and I think TV's Kyle pops in at the end there. So uh, that's the intro that was supposed to be on here. And now here comes the episode where we start off trying some grape-flavored Kit Kats. Enjoy. Ran out of power. Now we're back. Anyway, it's very lavender. It looks very lavender in color, but it is, as we were saying, a very chemical grape smell. Man, wow, that's a... I don't know what to make of that, but we're gonna, we're gonna yeah. try it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Okay. Not bad. It's like somebody took grape bubble gum and wrapped it around a Kit Kat. Yeah. Like, in case it, people are curious about the insides, there you go. It's actually a little vanilla in the inside. Yeah. It tastes like bubble gum. It tastes it like it should, it should keep, you should keep chewing it. But you can't, because it's chocolate. So that was weird. Let's try something green. We're going to try the matcha yes. Kit Kats. A green tea Kit Kat. Yeah, which you can tell by the the fact it says Uji Matcha on it. Not that the fact it's got a bowl or a cup on it. That's silly. It's very festive, these wrappings. Yes. Interesting. It wasn't until recently why I learned the Japanese have an obsession with Kit Kats. It's because the Japanese name, Kitokato, is uh, very close to the phrase Kitokatsu, which means you will do well. Which is why it's a very popular gift for students g taking their entrance exams. Oh. And it's considered to be like a good luck charm. I just learned something today. Education. That never happens on this show. The only thing you learn on this show is don't eat that. <laughs> so we're going to eat this. It's green. No one is surprised. Like you would expect from a green tea Kit Kat. No, this is not the green tea. This is the matcha tea. That's different. I don't know what that smell is. And look, there's like little, little biddly bits in it. Biddly bits. I, I don't, I don't know what to make of that, but they are. But here we go. Into the face it goes. Definite tea flavor. I'm not getting a tea flavor. I'm not getting a, a matcha or anything. It's just chocolate to me. It's just colored chocolate. It doesn't, it tastes like a regular Kit Kat to me. But then again, I eat so many Kit Kats, my palate must just by a wash with it, so. But it makes your finger green when it melts. All right, here's an important tip, kids. If you plan to do taste test videos like your pal Ian, don't eat dinner first. <laughs> Cause I was already full and now I'm shoving chocolate into my fat head like a moron. Also, I'm gonna wash the taste out of my mouth not with water like a smart person would do, but with Cherry Coke Zero, because I'm smart. Ian, would you like me to get you a glass of water? No, that's what an intelligent person would do. Okay. No. See, these are the things we yell at the TV screen when we're watching these. <laughs> but wait, what do you mean? <laughs> like, okay, you're openly mocking the fact that you're not washing it down with water. You've now been offered water and you're not having water. Yeah. What's your point? What are you shouting at it, though? Ian, yeah, drink water! <laughs> hey, I got a swell idea! Get off your a** and drink some water! 
I usually do when I film at home. <laughs> I have one that's off screen. I said that in the first episode. I, I when I was filming the first episode, I would show it, but I stopped showing it after that. There have just been multiple opportunities where you're doing something bizarre. You reference that you're doing something bizarre and do nothing to change the fact that you're doing something bizarre. I, hey, if I start it, I'm going through with it. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. We're not going professionalism. To... Yeah, we'll pretend that I have it. So there's a, apparently two different matcha flavors. This one was was Uji matcha or green tea. I'll take your word for it. I don't speak Japanese. And this one is Sakura matcha, oh. which is like a cherry blossom, from what I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I right, we have confirmation from the the Japanophiles in the house. <laughs> Both would be green tea, but that one will have. Oh, so that's why they're in pink packaging. Mm -hmm. It's pink. So, <laughs> cherry blossom flavored green tea Kit Kats, because let's not have enough adjectives in the name. The cool thing about the wrapping for these is a little place to write a message in case you want to give your sweetheart a Kit Kat. Or something. Oh, look, what a surprise! It's green! Again. But it doesn't have the little biddly bits in it. It is a bitless Kit Kat. Again, getting no no scent. Yeah, neither am I. I'm gonna try it. Now I know when I'm biting into these, I'm setting off somebody's OCD. Because it's two, and I'm biting in the center of it rather than separating it, and I don't care. This is sweeter. And this is sweeter than the last one. It is. It tastes a little creamier, which is just a weird thing to say in general. Especially when you're talking about Kit Kats. Yeah. It definitely does have a bit of a creamier texture to it than the last one. That's not bad. I like that one a lot, actually. So do I. That's three down. Three to go. I shouldn't have eaten food. You have nobody to blame but yourself. He says as I drink Cherry Coke Zero. No other options for you. <laughs> I have options. I know I have other options. I just choose not to do them because I'm a stubborn... Your choice is tough. Says the man who's my writing partner. <laughs> <laughs> I never said I was a good idea. Says the man sitting next to his wife. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly said I do. So, we've got <laughs> universal confirmation. Yay! So and I'm just sitting here, right? So our next flavor, after enough green that our poo will be different colors, we're going for strawberry. Cause why not? I really like this packaging where you just and, and then. Japanese packaging is the best. It's so designed to just gently open it instead of having to tear it open. I used to have a bit in my stand-up act talking about <laughs> Snackwell's cookies because it said on the box, slide finger under flap and loosen gently. <laughs> and that's exactly my reaction. I was like, usually I have to buy a dinner first. Uh, yeah, my stand-up was terrible. <laughs> so, pink fruit, pink Packaging, probably going to be a pink Kit Kat, because strawberry. So, during Valentine's Day, with all the Valentine's candy, they had red velvet Kit Kats. And I, I had an opportunity to buy a package, and I ended up not doing it. And of course, they were limited edition, and I missed, about, missed out on them, so... Sorry. I've also been passing up on, like, the limited edition Hostess Cupcakes lately, because, as I said at the beginning of the show, I'm getting fat! So, pink Kit Kat. I told you. This def definitely has a chemical strawberry smell. You know what? Tonight the part of Insanian will be played by Breakman Z. He did do a cosplay of me. Indeed. Uh, uh, one year. Uh, because we both have the beard. And uh, at the same hat. I'll put a picture of that up here. But uh, it smells like strawberry bubblegum. Yeah. It smells like... it. it it's, it's that artificial candy fruity scent. I'm putting it in my face. Here we go. I just shoved the whole thing in this time. That tasted exactly how I expected it to taste. Yeah. It was bubblegum Kit Kat. Again. Yeah. Strawberry bubblegum. And it tastes like strawberry. It tastes like, it actually tastes like a strawberry milkshake more, actually, mm. because of the milk chocolate. So that's not bad. Yeah. Strawberry, I'd probably eat a lot. Yeah, I can see definitely getting that again. Here's one I don't expect seeing getting a lot of. Melon. Hokkaido melon. Looks like cantaloupe on it. At first I thought it was peach, but I was wrong. Melon. We're gonna try it because after four boxes of Kit Kats, I've run out of <laughs> to say. <laughs> I want a party! <laughs> 
So here's a surprise. It's the color of the thing that it is. It's a little orange. I'm thinking of something orange. Something orange. <laughs> Give up the melon flavored Kit Kat. <laughs> Thank you, Peanut Gallery. Oh, I'm a guy. Oh, yeah, that's. It smells like. It smells like a melon. That's just. Yeah. Making foods that taste like other foods, that are flavored like other foods, kind of fascinates me in a stupid way. Like, candy, that's one thing. But candy, like, fruit flavored candy especially, but like maybe making like tea or wasabi, which thank God we're not doing. I'm gonna make you drink that wasabi cola. It's not oh, that spicy, actually. No, it's not happening. I'm gonna do it again. No? <laughs> Unless you're holding me down and sticking the funnel in my fat head, it's not happening. I'll hold you down, Ian. Quick, cut, oh. smash, smash cut to that happening. <laughs> When, like, they make savory treats, like, you know, Philly cheesesteak flavored potato chips. And, uh, it, it fascinates me, and that's why I try them on this show, because weird food fascinates me. So I'm gonna stick this in my face. Just staring at you as I chew weirdly. <laughs> I'm looking into your <laughs> soul. I have nothing to say about that. It was fine. Yeah. It was, it, it, it didn't have a strong melon flavor. It was definitely... Then feel a little juicy in its creaminess because I held on to it so long it melted on my <laughs> fingers. Man, I'm gonna have to beat myself a lot. <laughs> so that's fine. Yeah. Five boxes down. Now we're getting to the package. I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> Freezing. Five boxes down. Now we're getting to the bag. Freezing. <laughs> Shut up, Kyle. Oh. Last but not least. Raspberry Kit Kat. Now, I saved this for last because I actually really like raspberry and chocolate together. It's really nice. And uh, so I, I'm expecting this to be quite good. And now I, that I've said that, I've prepared myself for disappointment. So we're gonna open up this. And I want to thank you, Z, for bringing these along. You're welcome. This is, uh, this is super fun. And um, there we go. Hopefully we'll like this one because we have more of these in here. There's quite a lot in the bag. Yes. Dude, hook me up. <laughs> Come eat this on camera, schmucko. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, schmucko. I have... Schmucko the clown! So, we've been joined by TV's Kyle since we had more. Okay. And he was sitting in the room being a schmucko anyway. <laughs> so we decided to toss one at him. I like raspberry. And he likes raspberry and he's sitting back there now. So, we've added him to this, so that's why everything is different. And suddenly there's a man behind us holding candy. Oh my god! Oh look! It's pink! 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 Wow! Oh wow. That smells a lot like raspberry. That's really good. It do. Yeah. Some folks don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Oh man. And there's a little bit, it looks like little, little fruity bitty bits in there. Now bitty bits, this is a technical term. That is different than flavor flakes. I so, was wondering about that. You know, bitty bits are pieces of old lady. Yes, and flavor flakes. Pieces of old man. Everyone is correct. <laughs> so now, raspberry Kit Kats. I'm excited. Oh yeah. Oh, we have a winner. Oh yeah, we have a winner. Oh, indeed. Oh yeah, ma'am. <laughs> the rest of the video is just. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Mm. It's the sweetness of the chocolate and the mild... The raspberry's not bitter, but it has kind of a, a, a hint of a, a bitter twinge to it. Not, a, not a, almost a sourness, but not quite. Yeah, yeah, it's a tanginess. It's, it's, a, like, it's a tang. Yeah, it's, a, it's touching part of itself by tongue I was not expecting to have touched in this moment. Yeah. Would you say tart, like saying a berry? All of those words are correct. Thank you, Lindsay. As opposed to okay like a melon. <laughs> Thank you, off-camera Lindsay, and now schmucko Kyle. <laughs> this tastes like schmuckers, actually. <laughs> <laughs> schmuckers for schmucko. And once again, something with Kyle has gone off the rails. <laughs> Was that about schmucko? <laughs> <laughs> so that's not bad. I, I, I really like those. The raspberry ones are the winners, and thank goodness we have more of those, because if I weren't full, I'd be shoving them all in my face. It and is now fortunate that you have, like, an entire bag of the best ones. Yeah, that's really good. That was fortuitous, almost. So, now that we've had that, maybe we should all have some Christmas Oh, soda. do let's drink some Christmas. Because nothing says beginning of March than Christmas Cola from Scandinavia. Happy Sheep Awareness Month, by the way. Yes, Happy Sheep Awareness Month. Uh, if you don't know what that means, go to tvskyle.bandcamp.com and listen to that song. Uh, thank you, Lindsay, for being so kind as to get cups. 
We, we have a stage manager for this episode, apparently. Thank you. And thank you. So, we are all going to try this soda. I don't know why I'm using this cup for emphasis, but it's happening. This is Grandpa Lundquist's Christmas Soda, Scandinavian Yulmust. And the label says, During J-U-L, pronounced Yule, Swedish for Christmas, children and adults alike in your enjoy Yulmust, a unique sweet and flavorful winter soft drink. Created in 1910, Yulmust was quickly embraced and continues to be a part of Swedish culture to this day. Start your own tradition by serving ice-cold Grandpa Lundquist Christmas soda at all your holiday gatherings and winter events. I'm sorry it's not cold, so we'll be enjoying room temperature Yulmust. From your Yule temperature grandpa. <laughs> grandpa room temperature. Oh, wow. Do it smell like Christmas? It actually does. I was going to say, this smells like Christmas. It's festivities in a bottle. Here, take a, take a whiff of that. Oh, yeah. It just smells festive. It does. Oh, I'm picking up what you're throwing now. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. 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 That's excellent. So, so let's... I'm gonna I'm pour some here. Oh, it's foamy. It's got, a, it's got a good head on it. Yes, I'm all foam. A little bit for you. <laughs> God, it's nothing but foam. <laughs> Like that, that's the snow. Yes, <laughs> that's the snow of it. Yeah. So we're gonna try this. Get 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 some of that carbonation in your nose. None of it's all foam. Man, it just it just smells joyful. Yeah. It's a bottle of carbonated joy. Does it smell like a li- like alcohol a little bit to you guys? A little no. bit, a little yeah. bit, but there's no alcohol like in it. It's 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 100% pure cane sugar and carbonated water and caramel color. Wait. Flavors produced by natural hops and malt. Ah. Produced by barley. And uh, so, yeah. Thought it smelled a little festive. So that's why it's festive in Christmas. Uh, it's not quite alcohol, but it has <laughs> stuff that's in beer. Hooray! Let's... Maybe it's just me, but I think I'm also picking up like a bit of like an apple scent to it. Yeah, I dig that. I mean, it, it's sure like a caramel apple, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it'd be the caramel coloring, and then that's very festive for the holiday. Let's, yeah. shall we? Hmm. Hmm. That's not at all what I expected that to taste like. No. It's, it's almost like a cola, but fruitier. It's a little like yeah. a, a fruity cola. It's a little, it tastes a little flat, honestly. Well, that's because all the friggin' foam was on the top. Because all the friggin' foam was on the top. <laughs> it's very sweet. It's almost like it's sweeter moxie. Yeah, it's very much a sweeter moxie, and it doesn't have the bitter aftertaste like the moxie has. <laughs> no. But, yeah, that's that's not that's not terrible. I would, yeah. I would drink a bottle of that. I that's good. Yeah. If you want some more here, help yourselves. I am feeling merry. Well, that's it for this week on Insane Ian Taste Tests. I'd like to thank my special guests, Breakman Z, for all the uh, Japanese Kit Kats, TV's Kyle for coming in and having the raspberry. I'm not even supposed to be here today. It's very Dante of you. And, uh, and of course, the lovely Lindsay for sitting behind the camera and getting us cups and laughing at my stupidity. And our friend RJ for uh, providing the Christmas soda. So thanks, thanks everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I'm not crazy about peppermint. Uh-uh. I'm not crazy about PBJ. No way. What if you stick it in a cookie form? Uh-huh. You know I'ma eat it anyway. Oh yeah. So come on. You can give me anything that you want. Give me anything that you want. You can give me anything that you want. Anything that you want.